Okay, back to um what I started the other night. I uh, showed you guys where I had started on uh, glittering up the Eiffel Tower, and it turned out gorgeous. It's, it's really beautiful. And you cannot tell uh, where it had been blemished at. You really can't. It's just blending so hard, you just can't tell it. It's really beautiful. But anyway, um, I came up with this concept. As a matter of fact, let me move this out of the way because I am actually through this. I just got to put uh, the top coat of uh, glue on it to seal it. So, finish. I'm going to sit it right here out of the way. Okay. All right. I um, left out telling you guys that I had sprayed these things on the front porch, which I did. And you see how they turned out. They kind of mirror-like. Turned out very pretty. I mean, I like it. I did all three other uh, candlesticks. I did two other bowls. And I did them halfway, as you can see. Because that's how I want to look. And I got something called some tooling in this silver. And that's what it's going to look like. I'm going to show you how to do this too. And, uh, how to uh, put it onto the glass bottom, to the candlestick holder, rather. Um, I did this to show you how I just taped it off, and I stood back away from it, and nothing got on the top part. This, this little part, if you get your aim right, you can you can actually do this. So I'm going to do this tonight to. Uh, while I'm getting all this other stuff together. And uh, once again, you'll need E6000. You're going to need a glue gun and glue stick. You're going to need uh, thread or whatever you can tie. You can get the little uh, pipe cleaners. At the Dollar Tree, they work too. Uh, you need some Rust uh paint, and it's called Mirror Effect. You're going to need some tooling. This too I got from the Dollar Tree. I bought this at uh, Home Depot. And everybody knows you can get this at Walmart or Michael's or Joann's. Any kind of craft uh, store. A lot of them sell E6000. So you want to get that. You're going to need scissors. And you're going to need a piece of cardboard or I chose a piece of paper. Cause I don't have any cardboard around, so I chose a piece of paper. And this is to uh, make the tooling. So let me see where I want to start first. Let me move everything out the way. Okay, I'm a little malfunction there. Okay, we'll just leave it alone. If it come on, it come on. If it stay off, it stay off. Okay, so I decided to just turn it off and uh, work without the extra light. Um, so, I think I'm going to start with the tooling so you can just get that out your way. Because I only have, I actually done all of it, but one um thing of it that I need to do. So you take your cardboard or your piece of paper and the tooling ah, right here in my face. And you stretch it out. This has glitter in it so the glitter is falling on the table and stuff, but I'm alright with it. But I turn mine sideways. You can do it long way. It just depends on how wide you want the tooling to be. Cause it's gonna look like a little skirt around the bottom of the candlestick. So I've counted with the rest of them. I flipped it over four times. So I'm gonna do this for once. And keep it straight.
this too. This three. This will be four. So I'm going to cut this. And I'm going to sit this with the rest of them that I've already cut. Because I'm not ready for this yet. I just want to get it out of my way. Here we go. I actually got some E uh, 2000 glue right here on my table, so I'm trying to get it up before it turns into something I never get off of here. Well, yeah, it'll still come up. Okay, here we go. All right. So I'm going to take the E on um, 6,000, put it around the rim, and I'm using the, uh, the hot glue. Um, for a fast fix because I'm doing this uh, for you guys, but I, I do have to let this dry. So I'm going to dab a little bit here, you know, just so it uh, fades. Turn this upside down. Let me put these on so I can see a little better. Hey, hey there. So you want to try to center it as best as possible. You want to kind of eyeball it. Make sure you get it right. Kind of move it before it settles. Yeah, I think I got it pretty much. I've seen a lot of people do this, but um, I chose to use the mirror effect. I didn't see no one with uh the mirror effect on it so I decided to do mine with the mirror effect and uh, with the tooling at the bottom you know just just to give it a, a whole new look you can use it for all kinds of occasion or you know you just want your table looking nice it's, it's a nice table setting uh, you don't have to use the tooling if you don't want to if I put the tooling on and you don't like it then don't use the tooling uh, if you want to, you can take something and sit it in between the top and the uh, bowl of this. It's, it's up to you. But that's how it's going to look. I like that little mirror fit. You see the little mirror fit on it? Ah, that's cute. Okay, I'm going to set this one to the side and I'm going to leave it turned upside down because it's not secure yet. It just came apart because it is not secure yet. Even with the hot glue, it's not secure yet. So I'm going to do the same thing with this one. And I'm going to take this one outside and spray paint it. And, and when it's dry, I'll come back in and do the third one.
Um, what I have learned about the E6000, I'm not trying to be a, a downer or nothing like that. Uh, eventually, this stuff will dry. And uh, actually, it'll come apart. So my new thing is, uh, and I do have some, but I can't find it. <coughs> Excuse me, y'all. I got some Gorilla Glue around here, and it dries clear, and it's supposed to work pretty good on glasses and stuff. So that's my next goal is to uh, start using Gorilla Glue and uh, not the E6000 because I want it to be permanent. I have did some stuff in the past, and uh, it's falling apart. It's actually falling apart, so it's kind of scary. So I just want y'all to be careful with some of this stuff. Once again, center it off. Okay, we're going to let that dry. I'm going to put you guys on hold for a minute. I'm going to go spray this one, and I'll be right back. Okay, I decided to go ahead and uh, put the glue on this to uh, seal this. So, you know, you have to be kind of, uh, I want to say generous, but you don't want to be too generous. You don't want it running down, but you want a way to coat. But don't move the glitter. So you can kind of see how I'm lightly brushing it. And even if it need, you see some spots where it needs glitter, this would be a good time to add it to it. But as you can see, it it's dry and uh, clear. This is one of the brushes I bought from uh, Walmart for, I think they were $3.97. I say it $2.97 last time, but I think they were $3.97. But you get a uh, assortment of brushes. So they're all sizes. And uh, that can help you out with all your projects. You need something small, the small brushes, medium. Okay. I'm going to have to put a little more glitter on this one. Okay. And once again, got that problem of putting it down, but I'm going to slide it on the table. I ain't got to worry about the bottom of it. So we're going to let that dry too. I'm going to sprinkle a little more glue on it, but I'm letting it dry. Okay, and I'm going to go ahead and um, show you what I did with uh, the tool that I wrapped around the paper. Or you can do cardboard. It's, it's up to you. And it's how big you want it, um, I suggest you might want it a uh, decent size. Um, so... On each side is open, and we want to turn it to the open side, and you fold it, just kind of gather it up, and you pinch it in the middle, so you're going to have like a, a bow, and you take thread, and wrap the thread around the middle of it. Okay, so that's pretty much what I wanted to do. And you cut the little excess off. You know, where you cut it from the spool. And, uh,
I take a little spot of glue and put it on there where the thread is sticking up. And I just lay it down so that it'll stick there. So now you got these little bowls. Yeah, that's a good idea too. You can leave them as bowls and put them on the bottom like this. You really could. Just glue it to the stem and bam, you got a bowl. But that's not what I'm going to do. Um, okay, where is um, together right here to make the bowl? You want to take a pair of scissors and you want to go in between them. And because I know uh, I did this four times, so I, I know that I want four on this side and four on the other side, so it's going to be eight. So you just cut them. If you miss one, just go back and cut it. But if not, it should look like this. You should be able to spread them apart like this. And do the same thing on the other side. But if you know another message, hey, be my guest. Teach us something. Show us how to do it. Spread them apart again. Well, no, because I did four, I got four on each side, y'all. I'm sorry. But it's eight total. Okay. Excuse me. Ooh, there's two. So I'm gonna go ahead and knock these out. All I'm, I'm waiting on now is that other one to dry. I might need to go put a second coat of uh, the glass, the mirror look on it. And it dries pretty fast, so. It's not nothing that you got to wait 24 hours for. My dog is whimpering. I don't know why he's whimpering. What's wrong, Jack? Why are you crying? Why are you crying? Come out. Come out. Why are you crying? Say hey, everybody. Say her took me a bath today. Her took me a bath today. Her took me a bath today. I took bath today. And I smell good. So her feel like playing with me today. She don't like me when I tank. She don't like me when I tank. No, she don't want to be bothering me when I tank. You okay? What's the matter? What's the matter? What's wrong? Hey, 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 calm down. Calm down. Calm down now. Calm down. That's right. Calm down. Hey. You gonna speak to everybody? Say hey, everybody. <laughs> That's good, baby. Oh, I yell you. Okay, I'll put you down now. He spoke to y'all. Oh.
What is it? What's wrong? He freaked me out sometimes, though. For real, y'all. He be running around here and scaring me. I be like, what's in the house, Wilson? Because we be him by ourselves sometimes. I have this one right here and it needs to be cut. I'm still learning a lot of stuff, y'all. A lot of my work I do myself. I don't know how to edit very well, um, but I'm still learning how to edit. Um, I've been going on YouTube and trying to learn how to edit, but uh, I'm not very good at editing. So, y'all forgive me if some of my stuff don't turn out well. I'm still uh, progressing work, you know. A work in progress. This is what I'm trying to say. A progress in work. Which one is it? Work in progress or a progress in work? Well, anyway, y'all know what I'm talking about. So. <laughs> I always want to do something with this little tool stuff, and, and I thought about this. I seen the tool stuff being done on some other uh, projects here on YouTube, but I've never seen it the way I want to do it. Jay, you're not going out that door. I now mean, I see why you whining. You're not going out that door and you took a bath today. Quite a few girl dogs around here. He thinks he own everything. He want to mark everything, and that be getting on my nerves. I know he a dog, and that's what dogs do. But my son's supposed to be coming over here. I get him to take him out for a walk. I don't go out there at night. I got one right here that I missed all together that needs to be cut. So I'm having, I have, um, uh, Three of these, so I should have six of these. So I'm going to put one on each side to make it look like a little skirt all the way around the bottom of it. I think I'm going to use these for my table set. I think it'd be cute.
I'm going to use the E6000 and the hot glue for this. Um, like I was saying, I'm, uh, I'm going to go to the Gorilla Glue. It's some uh, clear Gorilla Glue they got out now. Um, I got some and I can't find it. Um, I don't know what I did with it. It'll pop up. Just like uh, the other stuff, the bling wrap, it popped up. It was right under my nose the whole while. So I felt really crazy when I found it. But, hey, it is what it is. I got more bling wrap now. Now, the thing about this um, glitter tooling from Dollar Tree, um, a lot of the glitter is going to fall off of it, but it still has enough on it where it blings pretty good. Okay, I got a whole nother one I didn't get. It's forgiving, I tell you that. If you cut it wrong, you ain't got to worry about it sticking out. Because how it's all bunched up, it'll, it'll hide the blemishes. Okay, this is the last one. check on the one I left on the porch. Probably put a second coat on that and give it a few minutes to dry and I'll be back in here to finish my project. This just glitter that's falling off of it, and uh, I'm about to throw it away. Hold on, I'm going to check this out. I'll be right back. Okay, this is the last bulb. Um, I'm going to go ahead and take the tape off and around it so you can see 
what it looks like. And it's kind of misty light, but I learned last night to just rub it in. I, I think because it's sitting outside and it's cool, it takes on like a little frosted look onto it. But anyway, it's, it's going to dry uh, mirror light. So I'm going to go ahead and tack this one on, just like the rest of them. Use the E6000. As soon as I get it to come out of there. Okay, here it comes. Okay, and I'm also using the uh, hot glue just to hold it in place so that uh, this will dry like it's supposed to in 24 hours. So I'm just tapping the glue on in certain places so it'll hold. Once again, you try to center it the best you can. Okay, that looks pretty good. Maybe a little bit more this way. So I decided to take a little bling wrap. Um, is uh this also came from the Dollar Tree? It's called glitter ribbon. And I'm tacking it around the the top. I caught that good. So I did the other two like this already. Now I was thinking about maybe putting something right there, but that might be too much because it'll cover up the band. And so. Put the cap on the E2000 because it will seek out. Then you have a mess on your hand. Okay, but you go to the middle or the back of it and split it and you'll see where the thread joins. Well, where the thread separates the uh, bow, the tool. And I put a little glue there. And I put a dab of hot glue on either side. And I'm going to press this down onto the base of the candlestick. Hold it there for a minute. I wonder do I, I know it might be shining. I wonder do I have glitter right there? Maybe. 
Dina, the Sandy Nose person. Same thing again. That blue in the middle. Put the top back on this. I glue on either side. We can turn this around to the back side and be careful because that glue is hot. Squeeze it down. And you pick the tool up and start fanning it out. Let me get this out of my way. Voila! There you go. <laughs> so, I'm going to let these dry for... 24 hours and then I'm gonna come back to them and show you what it really looked like including this so that um so that we'll see how everything looks like when it's dry okay all right okay fam hold on